very important question on derivatives of exponential functions for IB students. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. I am really thankful to all my subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and providing excellent suggestions. Because of your support, we have been consistently providing you with videos almost daily. Today, we have crossed 20,000 videos with more than 300,000 subscribers. Here again, we have a test question, extremely important test question based on derivatives of exponential functions. The question here is, find the nature of turning points of y equals to 2 x square e to the power of x. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let us discuss the basic concept. When you want to find the nature of turning points, what will you be doing? Well, turning points really means that the gradient will be zero, right? So the turning point means that the gradient will be zero. So you find the gradient to be zero. And after that, around the gradient, check the interval. Where is it increasing and where it is decreasing? If the gradient changes from increasing to decreasing, we have a maximum. And if the gradient changes from decreasing to increasing, we have a minimum. That is the concept. Well, now you know the concept. Perfect. You can now pause the video answer. And if you really want to learn from me directly, you can always send an email on the address given. Most of my students globally are doing excellent. Since they have good foundation and clear concepts after attending university the winner of this year's certificate of achievement shulik leader award is akshi kandivani <laughs> great our student akshit gets highest marks and the most prestigious shulik leader award you can be there. Join our classes and excel. Okay. Now let's look into the solution of this particular question. Let's begin by writing the equation itself, which is y equals to 2 x square e to the power of x. We need to find the nature of turning points. So, first thing is derivatives or the gradient. So, the derivative will be what? Well, 2 times x square, we can have derivative of this times the derivative of e to the power of x, right? So, 2 times x square derivative will be 4x and e to the power of x plus We'll write this as such, 2 times x squared, and derivative of e to the power of x is e to the power of x, correct? So, at this stage, product rule is very simple for you. So, I straight away wrote the derivative. I hope this step is not confusing. Perfect. Now, the idea is to find the turning points. Why not factor this, right? So, as you can see, 2x e to the power of x. 2x e to the power of x is common and we are left with 2 and here we are left with plus x, right? So that becomes the derivative. Now turning point really means what? So I'm just uh, sketching a graph. It is not the graph of this particular function, right? So if you have a turning point, let's say like this, something like this, right? So that is the turning point, right? 
So at turning point, we see that we have a horizontal tangent. means that the derivative is 0. That is first thing. So, we will equate this to 0 and find what are the x values. That is first part. And second is, how do we know whether it is maximum or minimum? That is what we want to find nature of turning points. You get the idea. Nature of turning points, whether it is a maximum or a minimum. So, you see the gradient is positive here and negative on this side. That gives you a maximum, right? But if the gradient is negative and then positive, then that gives you a minimum. We will call this as a local maximum and local minimum. So, for that, we have to check interval. Correct. So, on the next page, when we will find these points, we call them critical number or critical point. So, let us move on to the next page. Find the critical point of 2x e to the power of x 2 plus x. Clearly, e to the power of x is never 0. So, this will be 0 at what? Well, clearly, this is 0 at x equals to 0 and at x equals to minus 2. Make sense? So, those are the two x values where the derivative or the gradient is going to be horizontal 0. Perfect, right? So, let us move on to the next page and take up the solution. So, we found that the derivative for this particular function was what? So, we took, let me just copy it from here, 2x e to the power of x, 2x e to the power of x and then 2 plus x, right? So, so that was the derivative. Now, it was 0 at x equals to 0 and at x equals to minus 2. So, at these points, we have the derivative or the gradient as 0. So, let us make our interval table to analyze the given situation. So, these two critical points divide the interval into three parts. So, we are looking at x equals to minus 2 and at x equals to 0. Now, for the function, there are no restrictions as you can see. So, this is the interval from minus infinity to minus 2 and here we have from minus 2 to 0 and then from 0 to infinitely large. So, in these intervals, we can actually find a test point, right? So, let me write down a test point here. So, the test point could be what? Okay, the test point could be close to minus 2, will be minus 3 on the left side and minus 1 on the right side. As far as 0 is concerned, on the right side, we could take 1. Now, we have these parts. We know e to the power of x is always going to be positive, but this uh, 2x and 2 plus x could be negative, right? But let us write down all these parts. 2x is going to be negative if x is negative. e to the power of x is always going to be positive. And x plus 2 or 2 plus x, either way, 2 plus x is going to be negative for minus 3, but positive otherwise. Now, when you multiply them all, then what do you get? Well, let us figure this out. Two negatives will give a positive, one negative will be negative and then all positive, definitely a positive. It clearly indicates we are trying to analyze the, the derivative, right? Positive means increasing, correct? 
So positive means increasing. So let me uh, show it with something bold, right? So this means increasing. Okay, so that means increasing, right? And negative means decreasing. And then again increasing. So clearly we can see that we do have maximum value at what? At minus 2, right? So at minus 2, we have a maximum. And at 0, we have a local minimum. Is that clear to you? So this all, what we did just now, is testing close to the critical number, right? So, so we have here that maximum at x equals to minus 2 and minimum at x equals to 0. Well, you can also find the value, nature of turning points, right? So we can see the turning points are at minus 2 and 0. So that is the nature. This is the turning point at x equals to minus 2, which gives you a maximum. And the other turning point gives you a minimum. Does it make sense to you? Correct. So that is how we are going to answer this particular question. You could extend this by sketching the graph. So, so let me say extend sketch graph. We are not taking this now, but later on we'll have similar questions of sketching exponential functions. However, we have found some critical parameters here, turning points, right? So with that, we come to an end of this particular solution. I hope the concepts are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. In case you want to learn from me directly, you can always send an email on the address given or contact us on the website. Thank you once again. All the best.